You guys ready to rock it? Yeah, <laughs> Mythbuster style. This is our rocket surfboard, just like in the myth, one big rocket. Surf's up, dude. Now, because we don't know exactly what's gonna happen, we're gonna use Buster. And because Buster can't stand, I built this back at the shop. We're gonna attach it to this and see how it goes. Nice pose, dude. This is our rocket motor stand. This is what goes inside of it. It's a Cesaroni K motor. You may remember from our James Bond ejector seat episode, four of these is enough to launch a guy straight up in the air about 25 feet. Fire! And because we're not fighting gravity on this, one of these should be more than enough to surf a lake. The actual details of the rocket in the myth are few and far between. Ouchie. That's right, it's built for comfort. But the advantage of their K-motor is that it's both powerful and relatively available, making it a realistic rocket of choice. Is it just me, or are we actually strapping rockets to a surfboard? With Buster ready to ride, all that's left for this surfing saga is a helping hand. So we've learned through all of our various rocket experiments through the years, it's really important to keep your rocket stable using a rail system. And that's exactly what this is. This is a 20 foot long guide rail. Hopefully keep the surfboard upright, at least for the first 20 feet. Yep, the team has proven a stable launch is a prerequisite for a successful flight. Oh, how's he looking? All right, we're good. I hope this goes well, because if it does, I think I might want to go for a ride. Contrary to the don't try this at home mantra, Tori's keen to take a turn to test this for himself. All right, we're wired. But first, let's see how badly Buster gets busted up. This is Rocket Surfer with one big rocket. Here we go. In three, two, one. And <laughs> look. A little dangerous. That is a lot of thrust. Dude, that was a crazy flip. 